the case of Chamath Polyhapatiya. Pretty cool guy. He's on the All In podcast. He is a billionaire who helped build Facebook and also owns a substantial amount of Bitcoin and other crypto assets. And somebody who I consider also to be a very articulate and bright individual. And yet, despite this, we can all point to moments where this person that we look up to is not necessarily a supercomputer with a firm grasp on every single subject. And we have to be able to discern when they are saying something that is erratic or shows their lack of knowledge. So I want you to watch this clip from a recent All In podcast where he is utterly shocked, utterly shocked that authoritarianism could stem from the left-hand side of the aisle. All of this data was very well summarized in this Atlantic article, which I'm sure we can post in the show notes that folks should read. Lo and behold, it actually exists on both sides. So as it turns out, the extreme right and the extreme left are exactly the same. They're moral absolutists. They believe in themselves and themselves only. And they believe anybody else that outside of where they are is fundamentally in the wrong. And if you actually look at that and see how Trump behaved in his presidency, and now how you see how the left names and shames, you factually find a lot of commonality. So the, the reason I found that article interesting is that it actually says, again, what we've been saying, which is coming down the middle and finding, you know, reasonable compromise is the only way forward. Because the minute you start moving in either direction, you are the same. And that person is an ugly person that we don't want around. But don't you think it's crazy that we actually uh, didn't think it could exist in one end of the political spectrum and now it does? You have a point in that or no? I never Chamath, come on. How about the fact that the Soviet Union throughout its entire reign was a left-wing authoritarian state? China under Mao killed something like 60 million Chinese and continues today to persecute anyone who dares oppose the regime in any way, shape, or form. Just take a look at what they're doing to Hong Kong and is in the midst of committing ethnic genocide on the Uyghurs. How about Pol Pot and Cambodia, where one third of the population of the country was murdered? The Cuban regime, from where people flee from on a daily basis in order to move towards freedom and opportunity, which the United States and Florida offers. Every single centralized control communistic regime in the history of the planet has been a despotic left-wing authoritarian regime. Even the old Nazis, those that state that they were on the right, they were the socialist party. They were not on the right-hand side of the aisle. Chamath coming to us and declaring his absolute shock that left-wing authoritarianism could possibly exist on the left-hand side of the aisle is like me coming to you and telling you, hey, you know what? I found this amazing thing out. If you leave water in really cold temperatures, it turns to a solid. Huh. <laughs> it's amazing. I think I'm going to call it ice wild, huh? Hey, I left my car in the Las Vegas in outside in the middle of the summer, my black car, and I touched it, and my hand burned. Isn't that insane? How could you not know this, Shamath? Come on! I was flabbergasted by his statements. It seemed unbelievable to me that he could be so unaware. And I'm not bringing this up to make fun of Chamath, but rather to illustrate that somebody even as bright as him could be completely blind and tribalistic almost about one's side of the aisle. And that's especially for true for those of the population that are suckling on the propagandist teats of CNN, MSNBC, the New York Times, the Democratic establishment. The truth is that the modern day left has become far more authoritarian than the right. Who today are pushing for conformity? Who is demanding that we call men, women, biologically impossible while telling the rest of us to follow the science in every other aspect that they completely ignore. Who are the ones today coercing every single person to take a vaccine while completely ignoring the fact that Israeli studies, as well as others, as well as common sense, indicate 
that de having developed natural immunity from having contracted and beaten the disease is a superior form of immunity to the alternative. Let's just put it like that for YouTube purposes. Who is pushing for a top-down communistic government by beating people over the head, literally, while calling everyone who disagrees with them fascists? Who wants to take your hard-earned tax dollars that you shall into, pay into the government and spend that on gender studies programs in Pakistan and Afghanistan? Who wants to indoctrinate your children with critical race theory and divide our country further, telling people that they are oppressors or oppressed in order to divide us and gain more power? Once again, the fact that somebody as bright as Chamath took so long to become aware of this is indicative of just how much propaganda Kool-Aid the left-hand side of the aisle imbibes and how blind they are to their own indoctrination and their inability to examine their side of the aisle and their actions realistically. Most people on the right-hand side of America just want to be left alone. Let me make a decision for what's right for me and for my family and don't tell me what to do. Don't tread on me, baby. We want to be able to pursue life, liberty, and happiness that was enshrined in our Declaration of Independence by the great Thomas Jefferson. They want to tear down statues of the Founding Fathers. <laughs> So yes to my man Shema, and to all of you watching who are on the left-hand side of the aisle, authoritarian definitely exists on the left and is very prevalent today on that side of the aisle. And as it continues, it's cancerous march across the United States and the rest of the free world. Unfortunately, what it does engender is a strong man to appear on the right and the authoritarian tendencies in that direction as well. So we need to come to some middle ground that I hope that we're able to. And the first step is the recognition that maybe y'all might go too far on occasion. Let's start with that. If you have a comment, leave it in the comment section below and thumb up the video and subscribe if you're new. Hit the all notification bell, otherwise YouTube ain't gonna be notifying you. Have a fantastic day.